They say when cannibals eat a missionary, they get a taste of religion. Well, when a CEO leaves his office in Manhattan to shoot an elephant for fun, or Ringling beats elephants, or a man opens a warehouse in order to experiment on dogs, Peter gives them a taste of their own medicine. I love that everyone involved with PETA has the guts to go against convention and popular culture to expose animal cruelty for what it is. Payback is hell is the quote on this billboard. It shows a severed leg. He was out to kill animals, and just because they're fish doesn't mean they don't feel pain. They're calling him their scummiest CEO of the year. We have taken our business with GoDaddy and gone elsewhere, and that's what we're encouraging other people to do. The animal rights group PETA is time with a new billboard. This billboard will spark some discussions between children and their parents, kids who maybe don't want to see the dead corpse of a bird in the middle of their holiday table. That's Ashley Fruno, member of PETA, who headed for the devastated Sendai area to see what they could do for pets left behind in evacuations. He was able to get into the area um, with the help of two men on motorcycles. PETA continues to pressure the government to allow people to take their animals with them because a dog, a cat in the family is a family member. There's really no excuse to be using any live animals in any films. Rise of the Planet of the Apes movie is a great example of this. The creator actually chose CGI animals not just because of creative reasons but also for moral reasons. Don't get taken for a ride. Please boycott horse-drawn carriages. Thank you. After watching this video, would you be able to go on a carriage ride now? It's sad the way they're treated, and um, I wouldn't patronize them. I don't think a living being should suffer for the sake of fashion. Period. End of story. It's the most beautiful oh, ad ever. You. It's so fantastic. We've had to put a ribbon on Yeah, we put on a ribbon Yeah, we on. can't but, put a... Yeah. <laughs> Elizabeth Canales unveiled her new PETA ad in Beverly Hills yesterday. The 33-year-old beauty posed next to her totally butt-naked shot. PETA is the one of the most powerful charity. It, you know, it really does something in helping animals. Kesha and Iggy Pop join forces with PETA for the new campaign, Canada's Club Scene Sucks. The way that they're being approached with a horrible tool and a state-of-the-art attack helicopter and the screams of horror. PETA, the uh, people for um, <laughs> animal <laughs> stuff. Yes, thank you, Cleto. <laughs> had uh, one of their patented stop people from eating us things by getting naked in public stunts here on Hollywood Boulevard yesterday. PETA's latest stunt is making a sudsy mess and even distracting drivers on Hollywood Boulevard. It's worth it. The viral video of scantily clad women getting fresh with vegetables and getting a whole lot of play on the internet. Here we have Walter and Bernie. If you want to know what kind of dogs they are, I'll tell you. They're rescue dogs. Parker here on behalf of PETA. If you're thinking about a trip to SeaWorld, please reconsider. PETA is resting their case on the claim that the 13th Amendment, while prohibiting slavery in involuntary servitude, does not specify that only humans can be victims. PETA is suing the theme park on behalf of five orcas. They say the killer whales are forced into captivity and kept in tanks not much larger than they are. A setup, they argue, that is the same as slavery. Hi, I'm Olivia Munn, and I'm making a plea to the USDA to help seize and retire Sarah from the Ringling Brothers Circus. She is arthritic and in pain. And we've already seen how humans behave when you've decided that you don't care. It's ugly. My name is Julian Michaels. I'm here to stop Ringling from abusing and beating the crap out of elephants. Please. Join PETA's campaign to get these elephants the retirement that they deserve. I'm Chris the Birdman Anderson. I'm here for PETA. I'm Stella McCartney for PETA. Hi, I'm Laura Bell Bundy, and this is Norma Dean with PETA. What's up, Lena Walker, Father Flying, representing PETA? Hey, this is Christian Serratos for PETA 2. Hey, I'm Booba Stewart for PETA. Hey, I'm Daniela Monet for PETA 2. And I want to hug you.
Hi, I'm Michael Vartan for PETA. No matter how hectic my life gets, spending quality time with my best friend Millie is always at the top of my list. Hi, I'm Angela Simmons for PETA. Hi, I'm Alicia Witt for PETA. Hi, I'm Natalia Villaveses and I'm here for PETA. Hi, I'm Laura Vandervoort for PETA. I love animals, I have a love for PETA, and together it will hopefully help. Our victories don't just walk in the door. We have to work very hard for them. Most experimentation on animals has nothing to do with disease research. It's basic R&D, it's product testing. And so yes, we advocate the best kind of research, the kind that helps people without harming other beings. 50% of drugs that test safe in animals are actually toxic to humans. A huge victory for animals and animal rights. NASA pulls the plug on plans to conduct torturous radiation experiments on innocent squirrel monkeys. We may cause their share prices to fall. We may get them fined heavily, or we may even close them down. Employees Jessica Deddy, Mary Ramsey, Christine Clement, and Tracy Small were indicted. The lab shut down and surrendered more than 200 animals. We've created the world's first stamp collection of the famous vegetarians, Gandhi, Albert Schweitzer, and Cesar Chavez, as well as with living legends like Bob Barker and Pamela Anderson. We want to honor the vegetarians from before and the vegetarians who are with us now and those in the future. And full disclosure, I am a card-carrying member of People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals. We've done a great job of pushing for, for animal rights. The medical community has started to respond, so we applaud you and, and thank you for that. Animals are all worthy of respect. They're not ours to eat, to wear, to entertain us, to experiment on, or to abuse in any way. We never forget that these victories are because of your help. Animals need all the friends they can get, so thank you and happy holidays.